I have for you today my entire month of grocery hauls for the month of March. Without further ado, let's get into it. It is March 1st and this is my haul for the first week of March, if that wasn't obvious, from Walmart. So we'll start over here with the meat. I have three pounds of ground beef and two and a half pounds of chicken thighs. These both are gonna end up getting batched out and then the chicken thighs will be marinated and then frozen for later this month. I've got some butter and a ton of yogurt. We're going out of town this weekend and so this will be nice. We'll bring a couple of these for snacks and breakfast. Some milk again to go out of town so we don't have to either go grocery shopping or lug an entire half gallon of milk down with us. 36 eggs, y'all the egg prices are coming down. This was $7.42, which is fully half of what I spent the last time I bought a 36 count of eggs. We have five avocados. These have been and are 50 cents a piece at my Walmart, which is fantastic. A green bell pepper for a recipe, some cucumbers and bananas for lunches and easy snacks. A lemon also for a recipe, some nectarines also for breakfast and easy snacks. Nectarines, my favorite fruit, totally better than peaches, and I will fight you on it. Six tomatoes for a recipe, some grapes for easy snacks. These were, I think, $1.78 a pound, which isn't the best price I've ever seen, but we haven't had grapes in a long time. I've got frozen sweet potatoes to go with lunches, and then some sweet peas for a couple recipes and just to have on hand. Another bag of these mini bell peppers. I have not been able to keep these stocked in my house. My toddler has been eating them so quickly and so, so many of them for snacks. So I'm going to keep buying these until she's sick of them. I've got some green beans. I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet. Uh, let me talk about this first. I've got uh, a salad for a side for dinner later this week. Some rice, arborio rice for the rest for a recipe. This was the smallest container of short grain rice that I could find. Some bread because we're almost out. Two boxes of Jiffy corn muffin mix for a recipe. A little baby foot right there. Uh, four cans of sweet corn. One of them is for a recipe and then I just went ahead and bought the other three to stock up. And then a can of cannellini beans for a recipe. Also got some light brown sugar because we're totally out. Some easy breakfast for the baby when we go out of town. I have, whoops, I have some dill, bay leaves, and taco seasoning for recipes. And then over here I've got 10 pouches for the 11 month old now, which is unbelievable. This I got a dollar back from Ibotta for these and then some more of this vegan cream cheese. I got a, I got this for free with Ibotta. So if you like these type of things and want to give Ibotta a try, I've got the link down in the description box below. But all of this was right at $125. Hopefully I won't have to buy much meat for the rest of the month, but we'll see. All right, it is March 11th. This is our first grocery haul in Kentucky. And this is what I got. I got um, a block of cheese because I forgot to bring cheese with me. Some string cheese for a snack for the girls and my husband, as you can see, we've already gotten into them. Some mayonnaise because we have no condiments whatsoever. Uh, reduced salad, we'll have that with dinner tonight. Some ground beef and ground sausage. These were both on really good deal. I think this was $1.49 with a coupon and this was $3.77 with a coupon. I've got a green bell pepper to go with a recipe this week, some broccoli to go with a dinner at some point this week, butter because I didn't bring any with me, eggs because I didn't bring any with me. These were $3.39 for an 18 count, y'all. That blew my mind. And then some reduced bagels for breakfast this week. All of this 
was right at $45. It is Tuesday, March 14th, and this is what we got from Walmart today. I have uh, some shaved chuck steak. I'm gonna do stir fry with this and some burger patties. Uh, we'll probably do the burgers later this week, I would think, and then eat eat whatever's left over for lunches um, to kind of fill out what we've got. I've got some more lunch meat because we're almost out some eggs because we have four left. The place we're staying has no like leftover containers at all. So I bought these for $4, which is a fantastic price and they'll travel well. I have four avocados. These were 68 cents each, which is more expensive than I was that I'm used to, but is not a bad price. Some carrot chips for snacks and then also for cooking because we like to have, I like to have carrots on hand for cooking. Some Cosmic Crisp apples, jasmine rice. We'll eat some of this this week and then this will also be a nice uh, addition to our traveling pantry. I've got two of these stir fry kits. I'll make this for dinner. Either tonight or tomorrow, I've got to see how many, how much leftovers from last night's dinner we have. I've got bananas, some mini bagels for breakfast, some burger buns, obviously for the burgers. I'm realizing now that I got no accoutrement for burgers, so no lettuce, no tomatoes, no whatever, but we'll figure it out. We'll live. I'll use this with our teriyaki kits and then also just to have on hand. Soy sauce is so versatile. Uh, some coconut milk. I'm not going to buy a lot of non-dairy milk right now because we're traveling so much and I don't drink it that quickly. But I am going to stock up on stuff like this. So if I need, if I need to bake something or if I need non-dairy milk, I've always got it on hand. And this is shelf stable, which is really nice. Some seasoning for burgers, so I don't have to buy a ton of individual seasonings. Some grapes. I, I definitely bought too much fruit uh, in this haul, but um, I couldn't resist. The grapes were $1.68. Some bread because we're almost out. Whole milk because we're almost out. This is another thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep buying milk because my kids drink it but I'm gonna buy the half gallon because it's easier to schlep around. I've got some electrolytes, especially right now and because we're traveling so much, I wanted to have these on hand because when you're on the road or you're on the go, or if it's cold, it's just hard to drink enough water. And so this not only will encourage us to drink our water, uh, but will make it taste really nice so that we do drink the water. And then I got some cookies because the first week of a new assignment is real stressful and these were on sale. So, all right. All of this together with the non-food items that I don't normally show you was $103.93. And then just the food, so no takeout containers and no electrolyte packet. $86. It is Saturday, March 18th, and this is what I got this week from Kroger. I have a couple of frozen pizzas. One is dairy-free, one is not. This will be dinner tonight. Some of these um, instant oatmeal packets. I normally don't buy these, but because we're traveling and my husband likes them, I figured that would be easy to have on for breakfast. Some discount muffins as you can see we've already gotten into those bread bagels and tortillas have on hand i have some salsa corn a can of diced tomatoes some black beans and kidney beans some sour cream a little chili verde packet greek whole milk yogurt Cheddar cheese, some oat milk for my coffee and for baking if I need it, but I probably won't. Some chips to go with the salsa and to make nachos with, woo. Uh, some lettuce, grapes, celery, an acorn squash. Uh, my toddler was free in the grocery store. Like this video and comment below if you wanna hear that whole story. 
and she picked this and I told her that if I got it she had to eat it and she said yeah I'll eat it so gonna roast that up one day this week and see if she likes it it's an acorn squash it's an acorn squash two green bell peppers an 18 count of eggs because I cannot believe the egg prices here are they as low here as they are where you are, this was $3.39 a pound, um, an 18 pound, it was great. Some chicken, I'm gonna make uh, chicken tacos with this. Ground turkey, I'm gonna do chili with this, and then some turkey breast for lunches. And all of this was right at $104. You may note that I am back in my regular kitchen. That is because we are back from Kentucky and you'll hear more about that adventure in the coming weeks. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for all of those updates. I did wanna note there was one grocery haul that I did not include because I totally forgot to film it. So I will include that amount and the grocery list right over here for you guys to screenshot if that's something that you're following along with. Recipes and cooking content are coming back very soon, but for now, have a great day and I'll see you next time. All right.